Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I have an unboxing video. It's not going to be a very long unboxing video because um, I only have um, one boxed set of a book that I pre-ordered before my Read What You Own challenge. So I'm going to show you what's inside, and it is the Cormac McCarthy boxed set of his two new novels. And once I open them, I think I am going to give a uh, little reading of um, the two books. Now, just to show you my inner hoodlum, got to open my unboxing knife. Now let's see what we got in here. Okay, this is the box set of Cormac's McCarthy's, The Passenger and Stella Maris. Was it Stella? Stella Maris. And it has a neat little thing that each, each book forms a picture or a continuous picture on here. Let's see what we got. decent little box and you got your two books this is the front cover of the passenger there's absolutely very little text on the front you just have the side and on the back you have the author and title so let me do a quick reading of the first page. Is there now the text here is um all in italics. It had snowed lightly in the night, and her frozen hair was gold and crystalline, and her eyes were frozen cold and hard as stones. One of her yellow boots had fallen off and stood in the snow beneath her. The shape of her coat lay dusted in the snow where she dropped it and where she and she wore only a white dress and she hung among the bare gray poles of the winter trees with her head bowed and her hands turned slightly outward like those of a certain ecumenical statues and attitude asked that their history be considered that the deep foundation of the world be considered where it has been in the sorrow of her creatures. The hunter knelt and stogged his rifle upright in the snow beside him and took off his gloves and let them fall and he folded his hands upon one another. He thought that he should pray, but he had no prayer for such a thing. He bowed his head. Tower of ivory, he said, house of gold. He knelt there for a long time. When he opened his eyes and saw a small shape half buried in the snow, and he leaned and dusted away the snow and picked up a gold chain that held a steel key, a white gold ring. He slipped them into the pocket of his hunting coat, and he heard the wind in the night. The winds work, a trash can clattering over the bricks behind his house, the snow blowing out there in the forest in the dark. He looked up into those cold enameled eyes, glittering blue in the weak winter light. She had tied her dress with a red sash so that she'd be found. Some bit of color in the scrupulous desolation. On this Christmas day, on this cold and barely spoken Christmas day. 
And that was the opening to the passenger. Um, it's not listed. If you go to the next page, you see a chapter one marking. So that's sort of like a prelude to the novel. And you have found a dead woman hanging from the trees and discovered from a hunter. I think it's very typical of um, McCarthy's writing. Um, he mentions gold a lot and snow a lot. Very repetitive. But we shall see. Um, I will probably start reading this tomorrow morning. It's um, Tuesday evening. It's rather late, so I'm not going to start it tonight. And here we have Stella Morris. Now, here's something interesting. The front cover of The Passenger only has the picture, does not have the title or the author, but on the front of Stella Morris, you have the title and the author. Don't know why the designers did that. It kind of kind of looks neat together. Let's see if we can... Um, ah, now I see why they did that, because um, when you hold them together, I'm gonna, just going to cover my face, you see a face out of these two covers. And if you go to the back, you don't quite get... You get a little bit of the same, but you get the titles. So that's kind of a neat design. It's kind of a neat jacket design. I'm going to look at these covers again. They're, it, 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 they're just kind of a neat cover to look at. Where you see this body. Um, I'm going to hold it up one more time. You can sort of see I'm going to hold it up right there. That's a better. It's sort of like the arms are out, almost like in a Christ-like configuration. Maybe a little low. I don't know. We'll see. So let's read the beginning of Stella Morris. You have here what looks like some sort of letter, have a little photo up at top. <coughs> Excuse me. Black River Falls, Wisconsin. No, no, Stella Maris, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, established 1902. Since 1950, a non-denominational facility and hospice for the care of psychiatric medical patients. Resident unit, case 72-118, October 27th, 1972. Patient is a 20-year-old Jewish Caucasian female, attractive, possibly anorexic, arrived at this facility six days ago, apparently by bus and without luggage. Admission signed by Dr. Wegner. Patient had a psychiatric, had a plastic bag full of $100 bills in her purse something over $40,000, which she attempted to give to the receptionist. Patient is a doctoral candidate in mathematics at the University of Chicago and has been diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic with a long a long-standing etiology of visual and auditory hallucinations. Resident of this facility on two prior occasions. And now you have chapter one. This looks like it's all dialogue. I'll read the first page of dialogue. I'm not going to try to do voices. Hi, I'm Dr. Cohen. You're not the Dr. Cohen I was expecting. Sorry about that. That would be Dr. Robert Cohen. Yes, I guess there's no shortage of Dr. Cohen's. Probably not. How are you? Are you all right? I'm all right. Yes? I'm in the loony bin. Well, other than that, I suppose. How long have you been doing this? About 14 years. You're going to record this? I think that was the agreement. Is that all right? 
I suppose. At the time, I thought you were someone else. It's not all right. No, it's okay. Although I should say that I only agreed to chat, not to any kind of therapy. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to ask me before we begin? Have we begun? Such as what? And that is page one of Stella Morris. I probably won't get this to, into to this until um, January or February. But it looks like a promising beginning. Um, I have seen some mixed reviews on BookTube. I know Brian at Bookish did not think very highly of The Passenger, but a website known Right Conscience thought very, very strongly that this was a one of McCarthy's best works. We shall see what I think about it. Well, thank you for watching and keep on reading.